finally an officially licensed 17. Wait a minute. Why did it just beep when I said 17? No, no, no. It's officially licensed. We can do it. We're good. Glock 17. Hi, Dan here. So, companies the world over have been making airsoft and air pistol replicas of real steel pistols for years, with some doing a better or worse job of it. And only recently has this been noticed and stamped on by a select few real steel manufacturers, the highest profile of which is a certain Austrian company that really quite recently asked us to remove any and all mention of their name from our website. But now, Uberx have stumped up the cash and convinced them there's gold in them hills, and we have an officially licensed Glock 17. We still here? We good? We're good. Good. Now, the theory here was that Glock didn't want their name to be tarnished being connected with subpar quality replica guns, and whatever they'd be bringing to market would be a high quality air pistol. But to be honest, the airsoft version that's been out a few months now did not exactly set my world on fire. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a solid gun, but it's nothing special. So, did they hit it out of the park, or did they make a run for the money? Check it out. First up, and most important, the Glock trademarks are very nice and more importantly accurate, well from what I've seen, with the Glock G adorning the slide, grip and dummy chamber section, including fake matching serial numbers. The only concession to it not being a proper Glock are the 4.5mm markings and actual serial number around the frame safety below the barrel. It uses the standard 12g CO2 capsules with an 18 shot capacity magazine. These are quoted as firing up to 3 joules. Ours fell a little shy of that. Full transparency though, it is very cold here at the moment and CO2 pistols like this can be quite sensitive to the cold. Ours hit a range between 270 and 330 FPS, giving it a maximum power of around 1.75 joules in super cold weather though. It also wouldn't surprise me if this did rise a little as the seal starts to bed in, but I can only tell you what we have here. I've got three full magazines out of this before the power started to drop, but by the end of the fourth the BBs were rolling out at the end of the barrel and you can tell quite easily it's time to change the CO2. So how does the pistol actually feel? Well it's not as heavy as a proper Glock, but when the mag's in and loaded it does get to the same ballpark. The pistol sits nicely in your hand, as a proper Glock should, and both safeties work effectively. The trigger can fire in double and single action, and the last real Glock I tried was slightly different. The slide moves fast and smooth giving you a nice impression of recoil, but there is a little movement in the slide when it's ready to fire. You have to remember these are not built with the same tolerances as the real steel Glock, but to be honest I have airsoft pistols with tighter slides than this and they don't have the benefit of CO2 to make up for the tight rails. As each trigger pull has to load a BB from the magazine, the trigger pull is not as smooth as it could be. As with the previous officially licensed Glock replicas, I'm pretty sure they've taken an existing already in production Glock replica and made it ready to put their name on. The engine under the hood here seems to be made by Wingun. At the very least it uses the same CO2 seals as all of the Wingun range, which means you'll be good for spare seals down the line. Now, I'm not a fan of this particular style of blowback air pistol, but that's just my thing. I, I just want to get my biases out in the open. Should I say I don't really dig Glocks either? Umrex have brought out a pretty decent little blowback pistol here, and it retails around the same as the other pistols that use the same type of action, so you're not even paying a premium for the Glock trades, something I would never have predicted. The new officially licensed Glock 17. Well, newish. Well, okay, the trades being on an air pistol are new. Oh, okay, the trades being allowed to be on an air pistol are new. So yeah, the, the new-ish Glock 17 air pistol. Check it out here. If you like the video, please like and subscribe here, and here are a couple of videos you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.